Hi, I'm John Mahalik, one of the owners of Gorilla Productions. In some of our other videos, I discuss catapult events, and today I'm going to discuss the three main catapult events and how they work. A catapult event is where you work hard promoting yourself so that your band looks bigger than it really is to generate a buzz. Three simple but highly effective catapult events include your group's very first performance, winning a battle of the bands, and a record release party. If you've already been performing for a while, then it may seem like it's too late to utilize your first performance as a catapult event. But you can achieve a similar result by taking a long break from live shows and putting together a whole new show or by even changing your group's name. Frankly, as long as you don't have a record or a decent fan base, then changing your name will not hurt you at all. If your group has fallen into the trap of playing too many shows too close together for too long a period, then you've accidentally destroyed any chance of developing a draw. And you really should consider a name change. Your first performance can really set the tone for your group. It's a lot like a first impression on a stranger. If your first show is packed with friends and acquaintances and you put on a cool, amazing show, then people will want to come back. And they'll keep coming back as long as you don't start playing out all the time and destroy that cool scene. If you're playing live more than once every six weeks in your hometown, you're making a huge mistake that will eventually destroy your draw if it hasn't already. Another great catapult event is a Guerrilla Productions Battle of the Bands. On our finals rounds, we generally have between four and 600 people in attendance, depending on the size of the room, and sometimes even more. For many, many final rounds, we've had over 1,000 people show up. So what do you think happens when your group wins a Battle of the Bands in front of a sold out crowd that is screaming their heads off? Well, besides the great prizes, that include much needed studio time, you will be delivering a huge impression to a lot of people. And people love to name drop. How many times have your friends told you stories about how they know someone that once met this celebrity? Now, whenever the topic of music or shows come up, they are going to tell everyone they know how their friend's band just won this huge battle of the bands and how the place was so packed that they couldn't even move. They will go on to talk about how exciting it was and how they can't wait for your next show and how their friends should come see your band. That's not all that's going to happen. You're going to be able to take this achievement and add it to your press kit and bio. Now bios are just really just resumes. And anytime an industry person hears that you won this event or that you opened for this group or that you sold a bunch of records, they start paying attention. Battles can grow your fan base help you gain the respect of close friends and fans while improving your bio dramatically. Do not underestimate the power of a battle. Third and probably the most effective catapult event of the three is the record release party. It's the most effective because it's all about your group. It's the point in which your band finally has a record and everyone starts talking about you more seriously. When you have a record, you establish credibility and you position yourself as an up-and-coming artist in your market. A record release party is also one of the easiest events to promote. It's really hard for your friends and followers to tell you that they can't come to your record release party. So you should be able to get every single person you know to come to this event. The trick is to ask everyone, everyone you meet and everyone you know, to come to this event. Once again, the next day, after you've just sold out a record release party, all your friends and family will be telling everyone about your group. And then after the party, your friends and followers can play the music for other potential followers. And some of them will hopefully fall in love with some of the songs and be converted into true fans. Remember, until people have heard your recorded music, they might be followers, but they can't be true fans. I'm John Mahalik. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.